Are investors, John, underestimating the threat of accelerating inflation in the United States? Yeah, I would say, you know, uh, you know, we are pricing in just over 2% inflation. Uh, you know, since the crisis, we've averaged 1.8% inflation. I think the conditions are in place for higher inflation. So we look for investments that offer more uh, upside rather than downside. And we think we have some upside on this investment. Uh, we think inflation has multiple factors behind that. My inflation should, is likely to go up from here. So we think the risk reward is in our favor. Uh, this is one of many things we've done in the portfolio to adjust to a new environment, such as reducing credit risk, uh, moving into tips and other asset classes that we think are going to perform better in this environment. Mm. Uh, are we witnessing a change between the dollar and commodity markets? Interestingly, Vonnie and I were talking about the dollar earlier, and it's rising against commodity markets post Cudlow, yes. post the Cudlow news. What's the impact of the change in dynamic when it comes to the dollar and commodity markets on inflation? Yeah, it's a very good point. Most people only focus on the weight side, which we think there is pressure building up, and we've seen wages tick up only gradually, but, but it is happening. But the commodity story, the dollar story is very important. Uh, and if you if you compare two uh, periods, I mentioned the 2007 or 2008 told today, 1.8% inflation. But what we've had in that time period, we've had commodities selling off mm -hmm. most of that time, bottoming in 2016. It is a big downward push on inflation. Same time, you had the uh, dollar rallying all the way and peaking in 2017. It's also downward push on inflation. And if you compare that to pre-crisis, 2000 to 2008, you had exactly the opposite happening. You had uh, commodities moving up and energy prices going from $30 to above 100. You had the dollar selling off. Uh, over 30% from 2000 to 2008, mm -hmm. and you average 2.8% inflation. It was a, so commodities and the dollar play a big role in the drop from 28 to 1.8% inflation. So if you believe that behavior and uh, the uh, impact from commodities and dollars has changed, then you should have a different view on inflation as well, on top of wage dynamics changing.